Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 in our Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. Today we're doing a normal guerrilla operation after the uh, well excitement of last week's retaliation mission. So we're going for Operation Cryptic Laughter where we need to recover an item from an advent facility. Our squad members for today are Sarah, uh, Alicia, Heidi, and Jacqueline Morel. So uh, basically one of each, a specialist, a sharpshooter, a ranger, and a grenadier. So uh, launch this mission and let's get these Valkyries on the road and in the sky and everywhere they need to be to perform their mission. Here we go. Here we go. So neutralize all enemy targets and recover the genetic sequencing data from the advent facility in the Needle Streets in Cairo. Which I think they made up. Needle Street, the slums district, Needle Street. Kind of, kind of weird, but uh, never mind. We're dropping in. So there we go. In bright daylight, apparently, we're dropping in on a rooftop. It looks like, and this not in concealment. We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to oh, we are. And extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Oh, right. The, the the thing is not yet active. The dark event is not yet active. So there's a dark event coming where we're gonna actually lose the ability to conceal all normal missions. So that's gonna be annoying. But we have seven turns for this because otherwise the container is destroyed automatically. So even though we are in concealment, I suppose we need to head down as quickly as possible. So let's take a look right here in the sewers to see if there is absolutely nobody around before we head in. This is supposed to be an easy mission, so I'm thinking about six to seven uh, aliens, but getting our heavy hitters up front is always a good idea, regardless of the amount of aliens uh, up ahead. There is a tower further ahead, so I'm gonna actually check if I uh, need to do something there, because I can still do that, I think without breaking concealment. So let's check this thing. System override. And we either get a small alien alloy cache um, and a failed hack will exert in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. I could start it, but it's only a 50-50 chance. So let's cancel the hack for now. Now that I'm moving towards the item, there's definitely, there's a sectoid and what appears to be a Lancer. That's great, so the first mission with a Lancer right next to the item. So we know at least two aliens their position. And I'm gonna actually move Heidi up to the right here already. Because if we don't need to come into contact with people on the other side of the sewers here, the better. So I'm just gonna move everybody to that direction. And I'll probably even move Alessia over there. And I'll get back to you once we see uh, something else happen. Okay, so there's another Lancer and a Trooper in the sewers. We're not even uh, an extra turn further away. So we could technically start shooting, but okay. Where, where is the camera going? Okay, never mind. Nothing there. Just a few civilians. Do need to be careful about those as well. We're actually really close to the item, so I think I might actually just focus on trying to take these guys out before we do anything else. I need to be a bit closer just in case anything else happens and then i think i'm gonna go with one more turn on overwatch because i'm just too too much of a scaredy cat i could technically even get alessia no she needs to go through the line of sight of the civilians so for now just stay on overwatch um yeah maybe put her in the corner even yeah i'm gonna put her in the corner and then just stay over here with a pistol overwatch. Seems like the trooper and the lancer are actually leaving as well. Don't know what the camera's doing constantly here, but... Um, right now, what are my chances to hit? Actually, 92. 92 and 91. That is actually really good. But of course, there's two of them. And the other ones are right here. So I can't move any further. Is that will trigger the other ones. The sectoid and the trooper. So I think this is the turn I really need to start firing. I have an 83% chance to hit the Lancer from over here. And I can do up to 6 damage with just a little bit of extra damage if I get a crit. But that's only 40%. So let's start hitting 
I think I should probably go for the, the guaranteed hit. Well, not guaranteed, but the guaranteed kill if I hit him. 81% on the trooper by Alessia. First shot, here we go. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. First one down and he drops an item. So an ambush kill. And there we got the Lancer coming closer. Non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. So 78% chance to hit the uh, the Lancer from over here. And I think I want to get Sarah the kill. Although they're all the same rank. Maybe even... Yeah, let's go down with uh, Heidi. Because Heidi can actually get a flank shot in here. And if... I want to flank, this is the moment I'm going to have to do it, because if I trigger anything else, I want to be careful. So that's the only thing here. 100% hit chance, 70% critical. He, she can kill him in one go, but she doesn't. Five damage, and that's it. So let's see, we have Jacqueline as well. Jacqueline has a 74% chance to hit. We're going to try that. And we miss. That is not good. So we only have that 70% left on Sarah, and I think I'm actually gonna flank. A 78, well, 78 is 78, come on. There we go, come on, Sarah. I know I can count on you, Sarah always hits her mark. And now we get alien activity. So, seems quiet for now, but we have four more turns to get the dare. And we know there's at least one more sector, and I'm just not close enough to grab the uh, the item there. I don't want to move further to get the item either way, because there's another bridge up here that might actually also have enemies. So I think I want to check if I can't trigger those aliens over there, but slowly. Because otherwise I don't want to risk losing anybody on a stupid mission like this. Uh, so let's put... Um, Alessia onto the next rooftop because I think I could do that, right? Yeah. So I could put Alessia somewhere around here as a start. And if I trigger anything that way, I can't even do anything with Alessia anyway. So she's the better scout in this scenario. Getting on the roof and getting us up to another position. Okay. Then we have Sarah. Heidi and Jacqueline left. I think Jacqueline should probably be the first one to move. There we go. And I think I triggered something. There we go. So the sectoid and the other Lancer. They're getting... Hmm. So I can fire at, for some reason, the Lancer is apparently behind full cover there from my perspective, which is a bit weird. But if I can get... Heidi is going to be too far to hit the... Oh, one space away from the Sectoids. That means that she can't actually hit any of those. That is interesting. Um, which means that I'll probably have to get closer and then try and get a grenade over as my one action as Heidi and then I could technically how big is the the radius of the the flashbang big enough to hit both of them so I'm definitely gonna end with that but if I can kill either of them that would be nice so let's move Sarah into full cover over here I know it's diagonal but it should still count as full cover she can only see the stun lancer from here so I'm going to try and use Heidi's grenade, if I can lob that over there, which is probably going to be tricky. I can actually, so I can take care of the cover and a bit of damage on the lance. It's going to be a really awkward shot, but here we go. How the hell is she going to throw that? Through the... yeah, definitely through the floor. There we go. Boom! So that's three damage. It's the minimum, sadly, but that thing that leaves him at four, which is killable. So Sarah, 72%, three to five damage. So the odds are not entirely in our favor, but here we go. Come on, Sarah. We know we can count on you. There we go. The full five damage in his face. And now I could technically use... Hmm. 
I could technically use the flashbang, just to be sure. I think I should, probably. Yeah, let's just use the flashbang now. Um, so, sectoids, flash, I don't know why it says it does damage. Don't think it does damage. Yeah, let's just flashbang. Just to be safe, there should only be another bunch of aliens. And my, uh, my sniper is going to be in position next, so we should be fine. So that's our last action. The sectoid goes into Overwatch. So now, of course, the sectoid went into Overwatch. So he's going to fire at whoever comes close. But Overwatch gives him an aim um, well penalty, so he loses 20 aim. And then with the disorientation, I think that should be enough, right? So let's see, um, if I can get Heidi sword in, that's 100% hit, up to 10 damage because sectoids count as flashy enemies. And I can end Heidi in full cover there then. He's gonna take a shot at her, but he should miss. Because he's gonna, she's gonna be dashing as well. So, numbers wise. Oh wow, he activates there. Ooh. And there's a turret. It's down. Objective sighted. Okay, there's a turret on top of the... I'm gonna have to try and hack the turret. That was ridiculous how he... Well, he only triggered at the very end there, which was also bullshit. So Jacqueline doesn't see the turret right now. Oh wait, the turret is on the uh, elevation. So I can kill it in one hit with a grenade. Yeah, so let's go over here. Yeah, she has sight on the turret now, but I think with the grenades, we can remove the uh, the floor underneath it and kill it in one go. Okay. Alessia actually has a shot on the turret as well, which is impressive. Uh, the turret has three armor, so he's going to block the first three pieces of damage anyway. So I think I'm gonna just try Sarah's Sarah first. So Sarah, go over here. Oh, she's not. Oh, she is close enough. Okay. Can I actually hack that thing? Teamwork, eight protocol, Kremlin heal. Oh, I can't hack turrets just yet. Okay. Then we're gonna have to. Uh, be creative here. Let's try with the grenade first. Since we don't really get any anything from a turret when it's dead either way. Um, I do need to be careful that I don't take out the thing that we're here for. So I think this won't harm the item. It shouldn't. And I think I just <laughs> not kill that civilian. Um, I don't really care about the civilian. So let's just launch that frag grenade. Oh god. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't destroy the item. It's always hard to tell in this game. I think I killed it. I think I kill. I hit one of the civilians there, but that's it, right? Why is the combat music still going? I think I think the turret was destroyed, right? I'm confused. Um Okay, let's just can I go back to get... Hmm... I would want to go back to trigger that... Uh, that tower over there. Is there one over here? Ah, there's one over here as well. So... If all else fails, I'm just gonna put Sarah on Overwatch. And then I'm gonna move Alessia over here in the corner. So if anything else pops up, we're prepared. The turret is down. And everything else is dead as well. Oh, loot expired. Okay, never mind. That was on purpose. We have two more turns to get the container, and we're right next to it right now. So just use Heidi to get into the completely destroyed building and grab that item. If my calculations are correct, there might actually still be one group of enemies, which is probably why the, uh, the game is still having the music. I'm actually going to move up Sarah first, because if I can take a look at that uh, tower, can I? I can. 
Ah, oh, that's hack the chests. I can hack the chest with my gremlin. Does that give us extra benefits? It might actually. Let's try that. Oh, that that sectoid in the background. <laughs> okay. Um, so on fail no effect, recover a mission lead on an alien facility or delays the current dark event projects by two weeks. We have a lead already on an alien facility, so I think I need to go for the dark events. It's probably going to fail. But... Ooh, oh, 31 would have probably worked. Okay, we disarmed the detonator. There we go. And then I think that actually consumes that last action. Menace one five acknowledged. The package is secure. Be advised, reinforcements are inbound. Okay. Eliminate all hostiles threatening the AO. So I am gonna move Jacqueline into a better position as well, because she's gonna be right in front of these guys, uh, which is good for Overwatch shots, but. Sadly, Sarah has a bit uh, wide out in the open there. Nothing I can do about that now. I don't think they get a shooting action this the turn they spawn. So let's just activate overwatches all around. So that's three overwatch shots. It should hopefully be enough. I don't know why there's snow on the screen all of a sudden. Don't know if that's going to be in the recording as well. But that was a bit weird. An officer and two troopers should be should be doable. I did waste all my explosives already, aside from the one that Sarah's holding, I think. So hopefully at least one kill with the Overwatch shots. Come on, Jacqueline. Ooh, yeah, five on the... Ooh, six on the officer. And then I think I still have a sniper shot as well. Oh, they're all going for the... Oh, that was a complete miss. So the officer backs off all the way, so I don't have... A kill but we have wait what please don't wait what how the hell do you get an action oh this is gonna be bad oh no Whew. my heart my heart Jesus Christ okay let's move Sarah closer into that full cover um, what can you hit? You have a flank shot on that one. I'm actually gonna check. Because Heidi can actually flank this guy. But could also slash the officer in the back. And Jacqueline... Jacqueline could technically also flank this guy. Let's start with the sniper. Alessia has three shots. And it's a 45 chance... 45% chance on the officer, and the officer really needs to die. So, Alessia, 50-50 on the officer. Please make me proud. Make me proud, girl. I am not proud at all. That was, no. Terrible. Um, the grenade isn't going to reach all the way over there, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. So that means that we can fire at... This one with Sarah. That's her best shot. 84% chance. Let's fire. That's four damage. Okay, that's a kill. Kill confirmed. Then Heidi. Heidi is um, severely injured, by the way. But could have a slashing chance. And it's 100% because I went with Blade Master. That is great. Okay, so now I just need to have Jacqueline. Kill the trooper. Which is not going to be as easy as I make it sound. I'm moving Jacqueline up to see what shots she can take. And it's still only 40%. So 40% is going to have to be. Because, um, yeah, Heidi is going to only be able to kill one of them. Oh, this is such bad odds. That was a miss. So... Blade Master... Has a few options. So I can either go for him or... Oh, wait a second. Wait, so if I go... Against this... Oh, I can't... Can I do this? That is ridiculous, but I can do this. 
Um, okay. Then I'm gonna do that. The officer needs to die. The officer is the most dangerous one of them all. Although, of course, the trooper can easily kill her as well. But it's a critical. And that should be full cover now. Yeah, she goes down behind the cover. I'm hoping, because she's not standing like she's behind full cover. That trooper is gonna be... Yeah, he's gonna fire at Jacqueline, probably, yeah. But Jacqueline has armor. Jacqueline has armor, so that was... Almost intentional. Now, who needs... The promotion. Who has a promotion and who doesn't? I don't actually see promotions on anybody just yet, but Jacqueline is out of ammo. Uh, Alessia as well. But I could technically... I think I can give one extra action point to Sarah over there. So if I use Sarah to get closer now, like right in front of him, Right next to him. Yeah, maybe not make it that obvious and just put it over here. So Sarah over here. She can fire at the uh, trooper, 84%. That was a complete miss. 84%. I'm going to have to use <laughs> Heidi's abilities again. Because Jacqueline is out of ammo. And I think Heidi is now out of ammo as well. So if I put... If I put Jacqueline... Yeah, I could put Jacqueline over here and then make her reload. But that's not going to help. Um, it's going to have to be Heidi again. So Blade Master. There we go. Ranger saves the day. 100% hits. And slashed up the front of the face. That should be it, right? Oh god, this is not it. Um, I'm gonna reload Alessia. Are we lucky that nobody else came looking? Because uh, now I could give my uh, last action to Sarah. And then Sarah can reload as well, so she's full up on ammo. Yeah, I'm gonna reload. There we go. Whew, that was close. So that's exploding now. Luckily I wasn't too close. <laughs> oh god. Um, could Sarah actually check out that tower now? I'm just gonna put it over here. If she can't check out the tower, that's fine. I'm just gonna heal up. Uh, so Gremlin heal on Heidi. There we go. Medicini is a protocol. So that was German. For med heal protocol or medicine protocol and I heard stuff that's not good because I heard stuff um, I could technically move forward already let's do that okay. famous last words but we need to get, start looking for that final squad so let's start reloading see that everybody is in uh, tip-top shape and I think I'm just gonna put Jacqueline on overwatch Jacqueline on Overwatch and Alessia on Overwatch as well. Okay, nobody just yet. So let's go hack that tower. I need that hacking, uh, her hacking stat to go up. So let's hack the tower regardless of the deficit. So failed hack will result in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to your position. And I think we should be able to go for a small alien alloy cache. There we go. 59% chance to... Oh yes. Just... That was really close. Small cache of alien alloys. There we go. We're getting the most out of this mission. Heidi goes a bit closer and she spots the last trooper and sectoid group. If they get closer, Alessia can have a shot, but I'm not exactly sure if she will. She's really high up there, so she might actually. Yeah, she has. 55 on the trooper and 27 on the sectoid. I'm gonna try my luck at the trooper. So 55, I can't do anything else with Alessia anyway. She's been missing this entire mission, but she doesn't miss now. There we go, trooper already Check taken out. care of. Uh, Dan. We still have Jacqueline we can move. That Sectoid probably dies with one sword strike, but I don't wanna... Yeah, we can't do that right now, so I'm just gonna put... Heidi back in here, because she doesn't really have a good position. 
and next time she'll be able to just blast away. We don't get a shot on the sectoid because we're completely blocked and the sectoid just went out of there. Does he see any one of us? I don't think he does. I do love that his tactical decision there was to go for... Oh god, he's going for Heidi. Is he mind controlling her? I think he did. Mind controlled. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we're fine. Um, well, we're not fine. We're definitely not fine. But we have two people to actually fire on that sectoid. The sectoid is inside of the truck. Because we can see the purple effect going. And Sarah still has a grenade. So I think if she's able to toss that grenade inside of the truck somewhere... We can actually take care of the sectoids. This will get the sectoid. It will also take care of the door there, so let's blow him up. Bounce it off the truck. Uh, I think I hit him. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Uh, I can't get up now. So I'm going to have to be... Standing right next to uh, uh, our mind controlled. Uh, I think that's Heidi, right? Yeah, Heidi. Um, hi. Please do, don't don't kill me. Uh, please have a shot on the. Yeah, he has been hit. But no. 85% chance on the sector. He has a chance of surviving this. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Please kill him. Go through the wall. Yes, cheat. Thank you. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, my heart. Oh. All hostels are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Okay. Operation Cryptic Laughter complete. Ten enemies and two wounds, but uh, we still got the excellent rating. So that was amazing. So that was really, really close because we definitely could have lost one, maybe two soldiers there. And yeah, Heidi, Heidi isn't good. Ha Heidi is. Gravely wounded, 17 days out, and Jacqueline is also out for 9 days, so we lose our Grenadier, but we did get 3 promotions out of this. So let's look at, at the positive side. Let's promote Sarah, and we get a Revival Protocol or Haywire Protocol. You may target robotic and mechanical enemies with your Gremlin, attempting to hack them and seize control. So I think this is basically a no-brainer. A no we need that Haywire Protocol. Hack is up to 60 right now. So we might stand a pretty good chance to start hacking some turrets. So Haywire Protocol it is. So Alessia goes up to Sergeant as well, either with Deadeye or Lightning Hand. So Lightning Hand's fire your pistol at a target. This action does not cost, and well, this attack does not cost an action or Deadeye. Take a shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost. I'm going to check that out. How much? 25%. That increases the base damage by 50 that sounds great. That sounds great to do high damage there. So I think I'm going to go for Deadeye. And then finally, our gravely wounded Heidi, our ranger. She had Blade Master already. So Shadow Strike while concealed. In 25 bonus aim and 25 bonus critical hit chance when attacking enemies. Or Shadow Step. This soldier does not trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire. I think that's also a no-brainer. Shadow Step uh, would have saved our ass. When, and she wouldn't have been gravely wounded. Uh, so uh, definitely Shadow Step to uh, avoid her taking damage in the future and draw out the uh, Overwatch shots. Although it does, it do just doesn't trigger. It, uh, it, it's not like they miss, like uh, Lightning Reflexes from before, from uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown and Within. So it's going to be a bit different. But we get an Officer Corpse, a stock, so we did get loot, probably from that last guy then. Uh, and then alien alloys, a little bit because of the uh, the tower we hacked. Then four troopers, two stun lances, two sectoids, and a third rack. Hello, Commander. So your team did an admirable job in recovering the genetic sequencing data from the field, Commander. The loss of this material will no doubt be a blow to the aliens' development of their current project. So aside from getting all those items and all those promotions and everything, we do get another 149 supplies and we counter the high alert dark event. So we still, we're going to stay in concealment now on the start of most of the missions. So that is also 
very great. Now we're only one day away from clearing that alien debris on the right and six days away from the infirmary. So that's gonna half the time uh, our troopers, our uh, Valkyries are in the med bay. Because uh, yeah, we're still having a bit of a soldier problem. So we're going back to the bridge and I think, were we still working on something? I'm not actually sure. We get more rookies if we go to the intact structures, but I feel like supplies are going to be more interesting. Oh no, we were making contact, right? So yeah, let's continue making contact. We were doing exactly that. We get the debris cleared, so let's view the room because we need to build a few more rooms as well. So we have a few options here. I think I'm going to go for the guerrilla tactics school first because that will allow us to bring one extra soldier on missions. So uh, we're up to 12 power then, so we have one more space to make power. Requires power to remain operational. Wait a second. The power relay also costs power. Oh no, we gain power. It's a green, it's a green uh, icon. Okay, okay, okay. So guerrilla tactics school. So let's assign the engineer, so Zoe over here. And that only takes seven days now. So six days for the infirmary and seven days for the guerrilla tactics school. Which sounds great. And we made contact. There we go. We get the, uh, the cinematic for making contact with the new region. Short but sweet. Hello new people. We come in peace. And you're not in pieces, which is also great. New objective added. So investigate the advent black side is now available. Uh, but Commander, we're gonna, of course, wait with that. With the local resistance, and we can move on the Advent Black Site on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. I'm guessing security will be tight at the facility. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. So with that, we get 80 supplies to our monthly income, which is also great. Regional contacts located. And we can go to New Brazil and Western Europe. So that opens up a few new uh, areas of the world map. Now, question is, do we want to do that already or not? I think we're still doing some research on magnetic weapons, so we're not going to get the radio upgrades anytime soon. So I think instead of making contact, we should probably go for any of the other options. And the only other options we have is increasing the region income or getting more rookies. I think rookies are going to be I know I, I said we're not going to do rookies, or we could go to the Reaper HQ and gain intel. You know what? The supply drop is in 12 days. I think I need... Um, how much days do I need? 5 to 7 days. So that's going to be perfect if I first go to the burning convoy to increase the region income. So let's head over there first. And then go to South Africa and make contact there. That should just be before the end of the month. And that would maximize our supply drop as well. So let's check out the burning convoy. Uh oh. Seem to work well together, Commander. Okay, so we got our covert action is now complete. So we got an, an extra engineer, which is amazing, by the way. So the tech support has been completed. Christina got. Uh, gained experience and uh, does she have a promotion because yeah she has a promotion because of that because that was her only rookie left and emily gained experience but no promotion but she did get increased cohesion with christina so christina and emily have increased cohesion now and emily's health has also been increased by one we didn't get the alien alloys because we didn't match the extra uh or did we i don't know why it's red we probably didn't get that so new staff acquired and we can do something with her as well. And we get a rookie back and she's promoted. So let's check all of that out. But the resistance ring actually takes three power as well. So I want to be careful here because the training center is something I want to work on as well. Or we go with a very expensive option and go for a workshop first. Um, in one day I'm going to have another engineer. So I think I'm just going to do the training center first. And then make a power relay or maybe start excavating first. Let's do the training center first. We'll see about that afterwards. So we can, of course, make another power relay after that. So we could do that now, but I think it's just better if we just wait one more day until the infirmary is ready. And now we can check out Christina. And Christina is promoted to another sharpshooter. So she gets squad side as well. I'm gonna actually put the stock we got, so missed shots still deal one damage to the target on Alessia. So that means that even if she misses the shot, 
she kills one health target. So the officer, for example, from the previous mission would have died if she had this equipped. But she does now. And now we go back to the bridge, continue scanning for that burning convoy, but the infirmary will be completed now, probably. There we go. Infirmary soldiers now have a chance to recover from negative traits after completing multiple tactical missions while uninjured. And the news, uh, we get new staff slots for uh, to improve the healing rate of our soldiers and removing all negative traits. Um, we, of course, free up that one engineer as well. So carry on. And uh, no, 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 I don't want to, although I could, of course, improve the healing rate. So right now, how many soldiers are in trouble? So there's, Heidi is 11 days out. And Heidi is, of course, our very, very good Blade Master Ranger. And I never actually went through the nickname. So Heidi as a Ranger got Slayer, which of course with the Blade Master is amazing. Sabra got Feedback as a hacker is also really great. And Alessia got the nickname Jackal, which is okay, I suppose. Jackal could have been a bit better, but I'm, I'm fine with that. So 11 and 3 days. I think it's a, a good opportunity for our other troops to start making their mark. Because we have a few other Rangers. The only thing we still don't have is a second Grenadier. Which is going to become a problem. So next mission, I really want to take one of the rookies with me. So we can at least do something about that. There is an exposed power coil over here. So if I start clearing out machinery over here. We should be working our way towards that. It's 20 days. Uh, because of the, the lack of engineer here. Uh, the lack of two engineers, by the way. Um, and I can't make another room until we're going over there so i'm gonna put all our engineers to work towards that so in two days i'm gonna have another free engineer putting that to clearing alien machinery over there and then next up is the exposed power coil commander we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line we have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first so a supplier raid. So let's check out the raid location. It's back to where we uh, just made contact. Operation Sacred Anger. The lost are known to be present in the surrounding area. Caution is advised. It's gonna be a risky mission, I think. I could ignore it, but of course we want to do as many missions as we can. So next up for West Africa. is gonna be a supply raid. A probably very dangerous supply raid. I'm not actually sure. Does it show me? It should show me, right? So it's moderate difficulty, but we do get Elena back. Uh, I'm also going to use Alessia, definitely, because she has the the pistol, which she can use to kill the Lost quite easily. And the extra pistol's short damage. So great on Mox, definitely needs to go. But otherwise, our squad looks uh, really, really bad. But let's do tatiana as a ranger as our last option since we don't have a secondary grenadier anyway and then i'm gonna have to see what we do with the rest i think wait a second so sarah has still has one healing charge right yeah so she has medical protocol but i've given her that extra grenade as a backup so that's gonna be fine alessia can actually do the worst with her pistol there so i'm guessing we're gonna be fine because Elena can definitely uh, stalk from the shadows. So, before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Run. And uh, see you guys next time, where we go on a supply rate. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.